All right. So if I remember correctly, we are actually suborbital. Yeah, we are suborbital right now. Okay. So, oh, hold on a second. Actually, I may have to. All right, I got time. I was calibrating my joystick. Um, okay, there we go. So, joystick is now set, and SAS. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now, let's take a look at it, see what our balance is. Bal uh, toggle all mark is. Alright, that should be fine. Um... Okay. Great. We'll leave that there. Okay, so now we're, we're coming in. And let's see where we go. So, um, okay, so forget this. It's actually going to end up landing here. Uh, this is the trajectories mod, but the problem with it is that it just got itself confused because the shuttle literally turned itself around. Target selection is that. Descent is... Like that. And that's what we should be. Okay. So we are actually in the atmosphere now. Don't need that until we're ready to... <coughs> actually ready to uh, start maneuvering. Okay, I'm just going to do a little time warping until we can actually get and to get some heating effects. Speed is... Hold on a second, I just realized one thing. Hello there. Um, Streamlabs. There we go, okay. You can see that the... I just turned on the, um, at, at the numbers. You can see that the uh, PE is negative, which means it's definitely going into the ground eventually. We're at 61, um, and those numbers are updating nicely, which is good. Okay. That's where we're headed, KSC over there. <laughs> Okay, so the, what I've done is that I'm using MechJeb. I'm not, I'm not using MechJeb, not allowed to. Um, I'm using SAS, and there's a mod, I forget exactly what it's called right now, but it lets me specify um, where normally you see control from here, it's 90 degrees, I'm saying it's now 15 degree angle. So that the shuttle is actually, you can see, if, you can see here, it's hitting, it has a 15 degree angle of, angle of attack, which is really... <coughs> Really good. It's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. Okay. Just checking here. So it's actually looks like we're going going to be a little far. So what I'm going to do actually is go and go upside down. Okay. Now you can see here how it's pulling it in. So what? So when you 
have the angle of attack and you're going up is actually pushing you up and stretching out your orbit. Now that I've gone up upside down, the forces on the shuttle are the same, but now instead of pushing me up, it's forced me down, and you can see how this is slowly you know, coming back in. Okay. Again, the forces on the shuttle are exactly the same. The real shuttle never did this, but this is KSP, of course. Okay, let's get we'll get we'll get back up right now. Okay. It's actually trying to do the 15 degree, but the arrow forces are a little bit more than it's able to do. So it's really doing something a little less right now. But that's okay. Because it's. We're going to be landing right where we expect to. Sorry about that. We're down to 1800 meters per second and 30 kilometers. And our distance here is. Um, 200 kilometers away. ETA is about a minute, two minutes to go. Okay. Down to 1650, 29 kilometers. 1600 meters per second, we're doing good. What I want to do, not that I expect to need it, at least I don't want to need it. Just make sure that the engine activated in case I need them. Back here, we're doing good. It's actually, you know, it's it's closing, you know, it's getting closer. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a loop around and, and approach. I like coming like this and then looping. I'm exaggerating, of course, and coming in from the ocean. But I've done it once before where I came in this way and it works out well. So we'll see what happens. We're down to 1100 meters per second, 26 kilometers. We are 100 kilometers from the KSC. Okay, I just turned on nav HUD, but I want this vertical line to be directly lined up with that. And that means we'll be directly lined up for uh, our landing. 900 meters per second. Okay. Right now I'm using the keyboard. Um, when I am ready to do the actual landing, I will switch over to my joystick. And we're actually, we're at 18 kilometers high. We're kind of up, we're going, actually we're going up a little bit right now. All right. It's gonna be a little tight. We're about, 19 kilometers up okay i'm gonna let this go so it looks like i will be going crossing over and then looping around how far it take have to go before i do the loop around is going to be a little bit of a guess but we're too high to do a straight in Okay, we're at 400 meters per second, 16 kilometers high. I, I could theoretically loop around like that and come in over here. But again, I prefer coming in from the ocean. Okay, 
in K3 hundred meters per second. I'm taking over control now. I have, I have control. Okay, we are now doing about 292 meters per second at an altitude of 12 kilometers. I may not have enough room to turn around. That's the only problem with this. But we'll see what happens. And again, if I have to, I redo it. I mean, I've done, like I said, I just wanted to do it so I can have all three shuttles landed at the, at the KSC. I have actually completed the missions this already, so this is more for bragging rights than anything else. Okay. Six kilometers, 180 You're meters per second. Now, Looks like I'll do it. So, Cheesecake, I guess you... Have, have you been around for a few minutes? Um, gear down. Um, it's going to be a short stream tonight. Because I have to uh, get up at 3 o'clock in the morning in order to catch an airplane. 3,000 kilometers, Let's see if we can turn. This is way too close. I don't really don't like turning on final this close. But the approach kind of kind of left me no, no choice. I think we'll be okay. Okay, 160. Yeah, okay. No, it's wrong way, wrong way. There we go. Trying to control the too many things all at once. Okay. Looks like I'm going to go beyond the, um, the runway, but we'll see what happens. It will be a good landing. Okay, touchdown. And I did it. Okay. All right, so now I'll use the engines in order to get back. And park. Don't need that anymore. That was actually a very good landing, but much better than I expected it to be. I must be learning. Unfortunately, no, I'm not going on vacation. It's a one-day trip. I, I have to take my wife to a, a, uh, a special clinic about a thousand miles away. And so it's a flight down and a flight back the same day. Um, I might get to stream tomorrow night. <coughs> I'll la we land at 7. I should be home by 8. So with a little bit of luck, I'll be able to do some streaming tomorrow night. But I really, I don't know. Um, but again, tonight I want, since I had these two short things in order to finish, um, I want to be able to finish them. And then, um, if, if I have enough time, um, I will, um, hold on a second. Uh, I can um, do a little debugging. There's a couple of there's 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 a mod which needs a little bit of work because of 1.7, and it'll take about 10 or 15 minutes. So I can do that online. Hmm. 
No, don't need don't need to worry. It's um it's a, it's an ongoing thing and we're just trying a new treatment. But thank you. Okay. And we'll stop. What happened to my sound? Shut down all engines. Okay. KSP is very funny sometimes, the way it does that. Okay. So there's my three shuttles. MUN-2, SCS-2, SCS-3, SCS-4. Uh, successfully done, and now I have to go back to the MUN and get the other Kerbals home. Now, I do not need the joystick for this. Let me disable that first, because it can mess, me, mess things up if it is enabled. Really need to come up with a better way to do this, but all right. Uh, tracking station. <clears throat> all right, let's see what we got here. And we want to go to the Mun here. EV1, let's go ahead and go there. Well, thank you. Thank you, Cheesecake. I appreciate that. So, so I've had a, I have a couple of people who are having some issues with the, the updated janitor's closet on 1.7, uh, and I'm not sure exactly what's going on yet. So I've gotten them a test build, and I'm waiting for, uh, for them to both try it and to... Um, get me copies of the game uh, game data directory so that I can actually try and um were they already there we go let's do um try and re replicate the problem because I can't get it to fail you're having issues with uh, Janice's closet which is it the issue where um no parts are showing up? What's happening is that there's they're getting a seg, uh, a, 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 an exception, which is stopping the loading of parts. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, it's causing a problem. So... Uh, I, I know where the problem is, in, in what method it's in, um, but there are seven, five or seven different places which, which that error could happen, and so that's why I... So the parts were displayed... Okay, so in terms of that cheesecake, um, if you installed from CCAN, CCAN hadn't been, had been installing the wrong version of um, the toolbar controller and the click-through blocker, um, so just make sure those are fully up to date, and that should take care of that little problem. Okay, the mods being, if your parts are displayed, then you're not having that issue. Okay. All right, looks like I got them all. All right, so now let us disconnect, undock. Okay.
Oh, I can't do that. Oh well. So I'm just gonna just gonna have to leave it like this unless I put a um um a Kerbal back inside for a minute. But I really don't want don't want to bother with that. Okay. So here we are and let us see where we wanna go. Is that it? That's about right. That is target. Oh, and look at that. We're almost direct pointed directly in the right in the right place. Turn off the brakes. And let us go. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what happened was that I was controlling from the wrong place, and then I told it to um, do point directly at the target, and it decided to flip, as you saw. So that's easy enough to take care of. Uh, SAS only, pilot only. Okay. So, control from here. Okay. Oh, it just needs to do a little bit of tweaking here. Control from here. Actually, control from here. Okay, and now, to avoid that, I need to turn this to be SAS only. There we go. TC, CBT. Um, it wasn't, uh, well, hmm. I'd have to go look to see exactly when, um, Uh, the update was it was really more a matter of fixing secan than any than fixing the um, uh, the mods themselves Well, I know we're heading in the right direction because our path is actually going to cross just the rim of that crater, which we've run into before. No, it's not. It'll be done soon, though.
You can ignore that. <coughs> it's just um, Captain's Log trying to save a file, an image, and it's having an issue. I'll deal with that some other time. So actually what I want to do here Oh, and Cheesecake, are you running 1.6 or 1.7? Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a, I, I had, I'm having the problem with Janet's cl uh, closet, so far at least, is only with 1.7. At least I haven't had anybody with 1.6 report an error like that. I'm deliberately going up. I'm heading up slope because I don't want to be at such an angle to the to the side. There we go, okay. I love how I'm heading straight toward it, and yet, um, so I'm pointed at the target, and yet for some reason I'm not, my, my most direction of travel is not directly toward it. It tells me that the target is moving slightly. I'm approaching the lip. Okay, so I really want to head over to there. There we go. And every time it takes a flyer, it turns into a, the game just pauses and turns into a vessel for a moment. Interesting. I wonder if they actually deal with things differently when it's fl when it's flying and not. Okay. Now we can start turning. Sorry, this is so boring. I mean, actually, in space travel, you want things to be boring. You don't want excitement. Just think of all the excitement that happened on Apollo 13. Oh, 
him. Grant, they're addressing it on his path. Oh, I, I bet you it's that, that even though I'm heading this way, it's sliding on the surface just a little bit. <coughs> That's probably what's going on. Okay. 2.8 kilometers to go. Oh, God. Well, um, think, of, as, think of what happened to Lysias, who's another modder currently working on um, Infernal Robotics, I believe, or uh, Kerbal KJR, or both. He, wa he was literally getting back to able to do some work today when they had a power failure. And he... Um, posted a gripe about that. So 10 meters per second is, is a pretty decent speed. Anybody have an idea? 10 meters per second <coughs> times 60 seconds would be 600 meters a minute. <coughs> What was it, 36 kilometers, kilometers an hour? That's actually not bad. One point nine kilometers to go. I really hope uh, that he's able to um, get Infernal Robotics working nicely. Um, I, I believe it's Lysias because I used it a long time ago and I liked it, but it was just too darned um, unreliable, for lack of a better term. And I'd really like it to have a few movable arms or even wheels. I mean, really, that, what I like to be able to do is have wheels which go down like that, you know, for deployment, to give myself a wider wheelbase. Well, if your internet is back, then you better get off mobile. One point two kilometers to go. All right, we just got below. We got into the, the meters now, meaning that instead of showing kilometers, we're not distance now being reported in meters. Thousand meters to go at now. Alright, we're definitely missing the, um... See that? We just go airborne and then it, it just freezes for a minute. Okay, I'm just gonna let it sl slowly slow down when we get there. I have no desire to ram it. Uh, 700 meters to go at 3, 2, 1, now. 
Mark. Yeah, I think that's a pretty looking sight. Uh, it's marked as pre-release. Well, give me a minute, I'll take it. It shouldn't be. Let me just, let me double check that. Um, I just want to get this parked, okay? I wonder if that's what's causing all my issues. I assume you're on GitHub, right? Okay. Uh, turn that off. SAS off. Break. And yeah, just go a little to the left so we don't have any chance of bumping it. Let me take a quick look at that cheesecake. Oh. Okay. But yeah, I don't see any problems. Science alert. Not with this game. No. Um, with this one... Um, and I, I can understand why that would happen also. <coughs> um, any of the, um, the mods which would be checking the, um, the available experiments would every time you go airborne and not it's going to consider that oh we've changed state so he has to check everything okay that actually is an interesting point um which like i said since i'm on since this is a sandbox game it shouldn't matter because um not only that but none of these vessels have any sort of scientific experiments on board okay um yeah so, all right, so let's do this. Um, all right, and let us go. That's a scientist, scientist, engineer. Automatic EVA disabled. Okay. Gonna do is just it'll just be easier to do the um One, two. Wait, 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 wait. I'm missing a Kerbal. 
I am missing a Kerbal. I know I left five there. But now there's... Cheesecake, I have a question for you. Looks like I goofed a little bit. I may have sent my pilot back in one of the other vessels, the shuttles. Is that going to, going to invalidate this whole thing? But I could have sworn I had left five behind. Oh, absolutely. The EV could, is, was designed for six. This was designed for six, two, four, six. Um, and, and earlier I actually had six in this thing, and that may have been where I messed up. Um... I'm going to go check the other, just to make sure I didn't leave anyone behind there. But, okay, we are there. Resource transfer station. That's the probe. That's, this has to be it, switch to. I mean, actually, this station is actually able to have eight people. Oh, what? They weren't there before. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. They're here. They were hiding. They were playing peekaboo. Um, scientist, scientist. I'm going to see if I can just fly them there. Um, no, 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 no. If, the, if they're, if I thank you, cheesecake, thank you. But if they're there, I got to get them home. I do not like leaving Kerbals to die or whatever. But thank you, I do appreciate it. I mean, worst case, I can do that, but... Um, where are they? Here's where I am. Up oh, there they are. I go that way. Oops. Oh.
I'll just this will work. I just have to remember that I have to slow down when I get there. Hey, look, they'll be able to have, you know, tease them about why you left us behind. You know, I never knew I could do this before. With the um, with the nav hunt. Okay, and oops, let's head back there and get the other guy. Yeah, that's actually nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. That's why I turned it into um, that when you have the, the two buttons, uh, um, the two toggles that you can hit the, uh, the name itself and it'll cycle through the possibilities. Okay. Okay. Where are you? I uh, transfer no transfer no there we go and we can have EVA.
And I think I appreciate you double checking that cheesecake. We're moving forward at 70 meters per second. Fastest Kerbal on the Mun right now. Okay. Less than two kilometers to go and we'll have everyone there. Yeah, right. There we go. Well, we got six Kerbals on the moon. Mun, whatever you want to call it. Uh, one of the things I do is whenever I get a sub, I give away a game. Not Kerbal, but one of about 70 games that I have available. And uh, you get to pick, of course. Um, I got three subs this evening, which is very, very nice and greatly appreciated. Okay. There we go. Portrait time. Oh, cheesecake. That takes two, and that takes two, and that takes two. Okay, that's where the six comes from. And if you want, and all same thing here, two, two, and two. All right. So all right. All right, so which one is this? This is our... Uh, we need to get the, these guys into here and just to see where the... The cabin, of course, is over here. Oh, that's easy enough. Okay. Oops. Oops. You grabbed the wrong thing.
There we go. What? Pilot. The pilot stays there. Okay. Next. All right, it's going to be a little bit of a slow process. Actually, which one is pilot is Lehman, but we don't mean he has to stay here. Okay. Yeah, I know. I don't understand it. Well, you do have to realize that there are lots of spare parts floating around. And then each part is classified as a vessel. So I'm wondering if that might be part of it. Okay. Got to move move the pilot uh, that guy out of there. Apricot to droop fruit. Okay, so so cheesy. I'm I'm pretty sure that. Um, there's, there's a mod out there which is causing something to happen. Um, I'm not sure what yet. Uh, they have sent me the complete mod list, but I'm not about to sit down and install 250 mods. I've asked them to zip up their directories and um, and uh, get you know, let me get make it available for me to download. So that way I can actually do exactly the same thing as their system. I have done the test of taking my big, my, my main career game. And hold on a second. Um, what I did was I, I looked at all of the mods that, that these two guys had, found all the common mods between the two of them, installed as many of those common ones as I could into my into a copy of my career game, and tested that. It worked fine. I then copied that whole thing onto my old computer, which is a lot slower. And uh, I'm wondering maybe it's a speed thing. Um, 
but apparently it wasn't. Because it worked fine for me. Okay. We have zero EC, so we're gonna wait a few minutes to get, get fully charged up. Since we are in the sun. There we go. Okay. And then I'm gonna do a save and then we can work on getting these guys home. Okay, so, not that I really need the EC, but it's nice to have, you know, part of the, the whole idea is, for me at least, is, you know, things have to be not realistic, realistic, but have a modicum of realism there. All six, yes. Two, two, and two. Notice there's nobody here on the ground. And in the ship, there's Lehman, who's the pilot, Milson, Kerman, Apricot, Droopfruit, Versky, Ludred, and Frenvin. So, okay, we got our, okay, so what I want to do, we're going to be taking off here, Delta V, Delta V stats is, please don't talk, okay. Oh, look at that. We're a little bit off. A little bit low. It should be okay. Everybody tell me why isn't that working? Why does it say there's zero delta V? Okay. So we have 4,000 meters per second of delta V. Um, that's according to MechJeb. And according to... We have a 4.63 TWR. Six, okay, ISP of 340 or burn. The, um, the, squad, the, the squad thing is not giving me how many... How much delta V there is, which I thought it did. But it's giving me everything. So basically, we're pretty much in agreement with this. Here says we have a two point. Oh, that's a max. Yeah. Okay. So KSP getting a little. It's not perfect yet. Okay. Parachute. Yeah. Okay. Great. So everything's all set up for staging. So what I want to do is the following. Okay, first I'm going to retract the solar. Shh, my dog is making noise. Oops. Shush. Retract all solar. Okay. And we're going to go up and, I guess, control from here. Okay. Control from here. So this, since we're controlling from here, um... Yeah, so I'm going to, I'll go up and, and almost immediately nose over, F5, for, or control F5. Um, pre, pre, EEV launch. Great. Yep. The dog, the doggy is going to be a little bit unhappy tomorrow, because we are leaving here at 3 o'clock in the morning. And the stranger's going to come in to take care of him. And uh, why am I getting so much Z fighting? Oh. That's why. Yeah, okay. Uh, and we'll be home between 7 and 8 in the evening. All right, here we go. Ah. Launching in 3, 2, 1.
going over as horizontal as possible. I'm going to make sure that my, we keep going up, but we don't have to go up that much. Anybody know off the top of your head what orbital, uh, uh, low orbital uh, speed is uh, around the Moon? AP is 6,000, and still going up. 1,000. Okay, we are now going down very, very slightly, but I think we're approaching, we're going fast enough, I don't have to worry too much about it. Oh, look at that view, look at that shot. Yeah. There we go, now we're going up again. Approaching with 480 meters per second. Altitude of not a lot, actually. Okay. Going up again. 530, 5, 540, and we're almost at orbital velocity. There we go. We just went orbital. Okay. I think that was a good launch. Now what I'm going to do is we're going up. Okay. So. Quiet. Shush. Trouble is I can't pet him and maneuver at the same time. Oh, let me do, okay, we want to do maneuver, um, maneuver planner. Okay, there we go. We want to circularize, still going up. Circularize at the AP, create and execute. Whoa. There we go. Okay. Time to PE is 34 minutes, time to AP is 14 minutes, so we're definitely going to continue going up, even if we're not that high right now, and at 16,000 we will circularize, and... Okay. Well, you are very close, Cheesecake. I mean, frankly, the, um... Hold on one second. Okay. All right, so we're now in orbit around the Mun. A almost perfect orbit, 16,400 by 16,382. Great. Okay. All right. So... 
My wife has a phone call, so she can't take care of the dog. Alright. Okay, so let's take a look at here. We want to return home. Um, return home from the moon. Create the note. Quiet. Okay, so the note is in 34 minutes. 35 second burn time. We still have 3,000 meters per second of delta V. I think we're fine. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and execute the next node. Never hurts to keep your EC full. Okay, F2. Oh. Oh, not quite what I wanted to get, so. Alright. Uh, don't believe me, this dog gets plenty of love. I mean, he, he, this is the kind of dog, even though he's small, that he gets on the bed and he takes over the whole bed. You don't have any choice in the matter. It is, he is a, something called a bagel hound. A cross between a beagle and a basset hound. And believe me, those are two stubborn breeds and he gets both of the stubbornness combined. So I do believe that this rocket was way overbuilt in terms of Delta V. I probably could have used half the tank instead of, of, instead of having this big one, but that's okay. It will go into storage for the next time I do something. Okay, we have so that's bingo. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. I wouldn't necessarily call this the best way of getting in. The good news, I guess, is wow. Look at that's really taking us out. Is that all these guys have to do is land on curb, and they don't doesn't matter where they land. You want to come up here? <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> All right, let's get this going. So cheesecake, um, I can think of two things to do additionally, you know, for other versions of the challenge. Hello, CF League. Um, one is to add life support and another would be to, um, uh, add Kerbal construction time and, and make, make it optional. Okay, KCT it gives the um, makes you take time to do the building, and you can't just throw a rock together. Um, it would become useful and interesting if the um, you had rescue missions or something which, or if someone had to do a rescue and they couldn't just throw a, a ship together quickly and um... So they wouldn't be able to throw, throw together the ship quickly and you know, and take and, and launch it within a couple of minutes of real time. but. Again, it's different people's play styles. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to go to the AP and I'm going to reduce the PE. I mean, I have enough. I could probably do this as a direct return because hard to see here. I got two heat shields here, okay? And they're actually there not because of heat, but because of, um, that's one thing I could do. 
Uh, the other thing is I can do my normal thing of getting into a low orbit and then, um, uh, and then going in. So I'm curious, I want to see what it would take, instead of going out to there, that's actually getting, getting us pretty far out. If I just was to burn right now, what would it take to get us to a PE of... It really won't take a lot of a lot to get us into the atmosphere from here. Yeah, look at that. So if I put it into a um, forty-five kilometer. PE. Okay. Um, see, this is 48. And using the 48, it, it, uh, trajectory is things that I'll come out again. Could very well be, because we will be moving pretty fast. So let me just do this. It's using 200, I have 2500. Um, let's try, it's faster this way. Actually, I don't even need to uh, do a maneuver. All I need to do is point retro. And fire. Okay, and just watch the PE. He is down to uh, 1100. I'm eight, seven, six hundred, five hundred, four hundred, three hundred, two hundred, and one hundred. Okay, 59. Now, going down to 45, it still thinks I'm going to do a, a loop, but I really, I'm, I'm a little leery to go deeper than that. Um, All right, so are you all comfortable with a 44.2 kilometer PE? Well, we're gonna try it. Attract all solar. Actually, you know something? Let's just before I do that, extend all solar. Up to here. Arrow is currently going to 55, a uh, 45. Okay, even at going to 45, trajectory says I'll come out. Okay, PE is in 18 minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is um, attract all solar. Yep, we got full e full e charge. 
back to all the antennas. Okay. So what I'm, I'm going to do is this, okay? I'm going to keep the Sage, because I have 2,000 Delta V there. No, I don't expect to land with it, but... Um, but when, as soon as I hit the atmosphere here, I'm going to start firing. If nothing else, it's going to prevent me from having another go-around. And if I'm lucky enough, I might even get in this time. Okay, my speed is 2,900. Okay. And the AP is coming down. AP is down to fourth look below four thousand. They're definitely getting heating effects. APs below 2,000. PEs dropped to 41. It's continuing to drop. We got a lot of heating going on, but so far so good. Our speed is still at 29. Now just drop below 2,900. So it actually, even now, it still thinks that it's going to be two, two more times around. But we'll see. We still have a thousand meters per second of delta V. AP just dropped below a thousand. P is down to 41. Not quite at PE yet. Five seconds to PE. AP is down to 600,000. Just got the PE. Okay. We're not gonna have another go around. That much is that much is good. Still have six hundred delta V left. EE is at forty, AP is at two fifty five, two fifty. We're slowly going up, no more heating effects. Well, let me rephrase that. No more overheating issues. PE is down to thirty nine, AP is down to one hundred and ten. 200 meters per second delta V. AP is now below. We are we are in final descent. Okay, we are out of fuel, and let's see if we can do this. That way, we're good to be. All right. Uh, it looks like we'll be landing somewhere in the ocean, in the darkness, of course. We're still going up, but I'm, I expect that's going to stop real soon now, right about there. Well, cheesecake, one, one, like I said, I, I got the two heat shields there for the mass because this really is not aerodynamically stable. But I, but with the heat shield and with a little bit of SAS going on, it, it works very well. Okay, let's do a little bit of time warping here. Okay, we're now coming down. 
Final Descent. Forty-four kilometers, twenty-one eighty meters per second. Oh look, let's just have a little snack while we go through this burning mess. That null ref is from KS3P. Nothing to worry about. Okay, we're in... About half a G deceleration at this point. 31 kilometers, 1850 meters per second. Uh, that's too dark. Oh well. Um. CF League, this was so overbuilt it wasn't funny, and um, Finns have other issues. I, I just would rather not, uh, if nothing else, the issue of mounting them and keep making sure they would be able to fit inside the uh, the bay of the shuttle would have been a problem. See, this one did. This is a 1.875 meter diameter. Okay. Um, adding the fins even up here, depending what size fins you are, would have, would have stuck out beyond 2.5 meters. Hmm. Okay, we'll blow a thousand. Heating effects are off. Turn off SAS. Higher than I expected, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get uh, the ambient brightness turned up a little here. Nothing to see. Oh well. And we went oh, well over 15 G's just then, but we are now down to a safe. We're 1, 1,500 meters high, 7.9 meters per second. This is a will be a successful land. Um, I don't know. I really don't use air brakes that much. In fact, frankly, the my use of air brakes. On the um, on the two bases in this in this game so far, in, in this series of missions so far, it's really the only time I've ever used air brakes. Max uh, Maxima spe spy bleh. Maxima. I'm just going to call you that. Um, welcome to the Flying Penguins, and thank you for stopping by. You are here watching the end of a series of missions. And splash down. All right. All right, so we're done. We shall recover this vessel. Too bad I couldn't get it to land at the KSC directly. 
I probably could have if I wanted to spend the time to circularize and then play games. I certainly had the Delta V for it, but I wanted to get this done. Okay, so cheesecake. Mission mission accomplished. Um, everyone's back. Um, it's going to take me a few days to actually get all of the videos taken care of. So if you want to hold off giving me the badge until I get the videos posted, that's fine. Okay. It's such a letdown after all the troubles I had in previous games, in, in all the previous missions, that these two just went, went off almost perfectly. There we go, I want to center on the center one. Okay, and let's just get, let's get, recover these guys and the Kerbals. I'm not going to bother with the pictures outside because that's just going to take too darn long. Okay, that, that's fine, GTA. I Like I said, it doesn't matter. You know, I'll get, you, you've seen it, so once I get it posted, um, you know, you'll, you don't have to spend time looking at the videos because you've seen it actually happen. All right, let's recover. Yes, and then recover. Yes, thank you. Done. Thank you. Okay. And that's it for those missions tonight. So, um, it's 8 o'clock. I have maybe an hour and a half to go before I have to call it quits. So what I, rather than starting on something else, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to actually go ahead and do a little bit of debugging here. Okay, um, 